Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nat Walsh. We have a card for you today that is using a whole bunch of paper rose dies. So we have this leafy circle, which I'm going to pop all out. Now it cuts a window in the card in the card front. So but we're gonna do it completely different. You need another circle to cut around it. This is an East Road basket. But what I've done is I've snipped through the metal, the middle, metal, through the middle, and we're going to trim that off and we're going to make that into a little nest. So I'm going to do a lot of surgery with the leaves, the leaves and things like that. But it's, it's not too, it's just fiddly. It's not too hard. It's just a little bit fiddly because some of the leaves need to be trimmed up, need to be tidied. Um, what I've had in my hand just before. We just needed to make sure that they actually look like leaves. I've got a little foliage die as well that we're going to add a little bit of a different, a little bit different foliage with it. So we've got a basket. That is not going to be a basket. So we've got E57, E55. Now currently at the moment my camera is having a little bit of an issue with the focus. So hopefully in editing that sorts its little socks out hang on so i'm going to go over that two times with my colors so we've, as i said with e55 57 55 and down to 53. now i'm going to color these in i probably should have just left them in the die cut but you know one does not always think about these things when one should we have YG93 and we're going to go down to YG, sorry, we have YG95, 93 and we're going to go right down to YG03. But later on, once I've actually set up some of my design, I'm actually going to go in with the YG99. I've written 99, but it seems like a big jump. Just to have a little bit of a difference because yeah, you'll see you'll see so i've colored all those in i'm going to do a lot of little tidy up and a little bit of surgery i'm going to hide a lot of the ends with other other leaves basically i'm going to just try and make my leaves sort of as much as a leafy sort of look so you can see what I mean like it's it's not actually very hard um, but it, it's fiddly it's fiddly because you've got to cut all these little bits and pieces off now you could do it with the little foliage it's quite it's quite fine but there is other leaves that you could easily do it with I just decided that this was going to have um, have some die cuts but you could use some stamped images and then cut them out or and there's other die sets that you could use this for and get some little foliage but this is what i had so this is what i worked with so but i really liked it it worked in well a lot of the leaves i'm trying not to glue them completely down especially once i get along the bottom even the little bits that i've trimmed off i'm going to glue them down so you can see there the top three I did not I did not stick them down because we will stick other bits and pieces underneath it and just keep building and building and building. So we're gonna build all those up. You see I've got a fair bit there that's covered, but there's still gonna be bits and pieces that we're gonna tuck in and move around. So we'll just fill all that in. Just going to play around with this a little bit just until I'm a little bit higher, so sorry. But I'm just going to play around with this and just sort of get an idea of where I want things to sit. I will trim off a little bit later on out of the side just to balance it up a little bit. Decided I didn't like that there. And I'm just using a little bit of glue just to stick these down, obviously. I know I'm a little bit high, but I was really engrossed in it. I was really enjoying it. I will completely admit to say that. 
I mean that I should say. Let me just fluff up some of the leaves. And there is our nest. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to stamp Finlay, but then I'm going to go and do something else. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp him all out now. I am using Paper Rose Premium Die Basting, which is great for Copic markers. And I've also had a play with that using watercolor as well. And it works really, really good with that. So this is a little foliage die set, which has a lot of very fine little things. I, they all fell out. They all came out except one. So I'm going to wrestle with these. So I am using the YG99 and YG95 with these. So they are going to be a little bit darker than the, what we've got. I'm going to place them around the outer edge sort of to form a little bit of a like a garden because he's just sort of at the moment it's just sort of sitting there so we're going to put a little bit more around the outside the now we're going in with the YG 99 and 95 going right down to our YG 03 so we're adding a third layer and this is just going to blend in some of that darker color again because we've got a really quite a bright little nest compared to the dark more dark olivey because the YG 93 is quite it lifts it up quite a fair bit there we go so we're gonna fuddle we're gonna fuss with that again fuddle I don't know what I'm talking about just trying to get our placement down with everything now these are very very fine on my card base in the end I'm going to trim it down to 14.1 by 9.7 which is also going to some of my nest is going to go over the edge of my the card base so it's going to go over the edge of the panel and then over the edge of the card base but I really liked it so we left it there I didn't trim it off at all so it does need a little bit of care with obviously sending it this is a little bit more of a hand delivered card than a through the post type of jobby but it you know if you're going to go to all this special you know playing around with this and everything else you wanted to give it to someone extra special someone who's going to appreciate it so our little finlay now we're going to use e71 we've got e41 and e40 i'm just trying to do a little flicks of color i'm using the darkest color the e71 through just near his cup and underneath his little scarf and a little bit underneath his wings and we're trying to do lots of little feathery motions to give him the idea that there's a little bit of texture there underneath his eyes going to be nice and light and around his eyes that darker panel around his eyes is also going to be this lighter color but we'll color that in a little bit later it's literally going to be the e41 and e40 so it's a very 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 light the rest of him we're going to have combinations of our 20s so we've got e27 e25 e23 and again, we're just doing a lot of flicking motions with this. I just thought, <laughs> I just thought he's talking. It's like he's talking to his coffee. I just had that in my head of like, going, oh my gosh, you are so good. I don't drink coffee. Fun fact. I don't drink coffee whatsoever. Um, and my friends still love me and accept me for my non-coffee drinking habits but <laughs> it's I just I felt like he just had a cup of coffee and was talking to his cup of coffee that his first cup of coffee for the morning and yeah so our sentiment is going to be at that so his beak now I haven't colored his feet his feet would have been the same color as his beak so his beak is YR27 and Y17 but they're going to be high, hidden I probably didn't even need to hide color most of his good chunk of his wing and good chunk of his lower 
half of his belly, but we did that. We made sure. So we've got, I'm kind of trying some different combinations with my reds. We've got R39, R29, and we're going to go down to R24. Just doing some darker flicks to try and give the impression that our scarf is a little bit um, bent over. Should we say like, you know, crushed, not quite so smooth. We've got YC9, C7 for our top, the top of our coffee mug. And the bottom half is going to be the C4, C2 and CO because I couldn't find my C00 because I couldn't find my CO. So it's sort of a gray. It's quite small. So I couldn't really, I thought about doing it in a white, but our shadows were going to get a little bit too dark with that. BV31 for his eyebrows. This is where I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for around his eyes. I'm going to color those in. So it's just a subtle color. That's all it is. So there's our thin lay all done. Apart from now, we're going to play with the sky. So I've got B, triple O and B, O. So I'm just going around the edges and then smoothing that out with the O. Just checking how far I need to go down. And after this, so pretty much the only thing we've really got to do is going to stamp the image and put our nest down. Well, we're going to do it the other way around. We're going to put our nest down and then we're going to stamp the image because I can't figure out where to stamp the image. But we shall work on that. So that's all dry. So we've got Mother's Day quotes here. So this is um, obviously Mother's Day. Uh, in Australia, that's coming up next month for anyone watching from overseas. And... In there, there was a sentiment that said, uh, you are my favorite part of every day. So I trimmed off a tiny little bit and that was all. And just sort of moved him in, tucked him in a little bit. Because he will get a bit damaged. So I'm trying to figure out whether I stamp it down the bottom or up the top. And um, I decided, obviously, I'm going to stamp it up the top. Again, we're using the Paper Rose Premium Dye Inks. I am going to stamp it a couple of times because I did not prepare my stamp whatsoever. But there we go. So give it a good rub. We've got some card Australian card bases here from Paper Rose. Again, I'll leave all that information down below. There'll be a link over to my blog and then have all the links to Paper Rose on the blog with some close-up pictures. So I've raised it up with a foam tape and that is my card. I hope you like it. I hope you're well. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.